Hi everyone, this is Kaylee here with the BT Garrett's Group, Keller Williams Realty Select. And on today's business spotlight, I have Nicole from Orange Theory Fitness. How are you today, Nicole? I'm excellent. It's beautiful weather. Things are going back to normal and, you know, couldn't be happier, to be honest. Right. Could you tell us a little bit about you and the business that you work for? So um, I've been with Orange Theory Fitness um, for the last four and a half years. Um, I am our regional um, operator, if you want to say that, and I pretty much oversee our three studios um, in terms of sales, operations, um, budgeting, marketing, hiring, all that good stuff. Um, so that's pretty much my role. I'm also a full-time manager at our downtown Sarasota location. Um, and in Orange Theory Fitness, it's, uh, it's been around for 10 years. It's actually the number one group fitness franchise in the world. And uh, we have just over 1,100 locations worldwide. So um, it's been a great company to be a part of the last four and a half years because I've seen it grow from uh, just a couple hundred to almost a couple thousand. That's awesome. Uh, what processes have you changed because of COVID-19 to protect your customers and your employees? Great question. Um, so basically every Orange Theory worldwide, we do have a list that we do have to follow, um, you know, provided by our corporate and also state mandates. Um, so basically operating at 50% mask capacity. Um, so this will help in terms of staying six feet apart the social distancing, making sure that people are not congregating, passing each other in the gym. Staff will be wearing masks. Uh, our members are not required to, but they can if they wish. But staff, okay. all the staff, the coaches, and the front of house will be um, having masks. Um, we're also having members not arrive more than five minutes prior to class. Uh, in the past, they can arrive whenever they want, um, but now we want to make sure there's not a big group of people in the lobby um, to avoid any type of passing by, anything like that. Um, we're also taking every person's temperature that walks in the door, including staff and member, upon arrival. Uh, no showers just for right now, no lockers for right now. So the things that really have a lot of just public um, access in the past were kind of you know, not doing that just for right now. Um, we invested a ton into disinfectant products. So cleaning has always been a big thing at a gym, but I think the proper term is disinfecting because there's germs and bacteria and viruses. So we've really made a huge investment into getting really hospital grade disinfectant to use before, during, and after every class. And um, even over the last few weeks, it's been really just paying attention to all of, you know, disinfecting the equipment, the lobby, bathrooms, everything like that. Um, you know, so those are just some of the few most important changes that not only us, but every Orange Theory is doing as well to make everybody feel more safe and comfortable. That's great. It's really exciting to hear that um, your company is going ahead and making all of those improvements before opening back up. That's great. You know, and you guys are opening soon, right? Yes, yeah, so our uh, locations are opening on June 1st. So really we've been focusing the last two to three weeks on training, um, learning all the new practices, policies, protocols. Uh, we're really diving in deep to make sure that we can perfect it as much as we can prior to opening. So we're doing, you know, uh, fake classes to make sure that, you know, we're, we're perfect before opening. We don't want any mess ups. Um, you know, we have our staff trained on every new policy protocol guideline possible. So we've been practicing a lot. So I think our members will be very excited and happy uh, with all the work that we've done behind the scenes prior to opening. Yeah, that sounds great. Um, how can customers or consumers help your business at this time? I think the best compliment is honestly a referral. Um, I know in real estate, that's a big thing is referrals and word of mouth. Yeah. I yeah. think it might be a little more old school, but honestly, I think that's the biggest compliment. And when it comes from one of our loyal members, they're more than likely to, um, you know, join faster, so to speak, or stay longer with us. Um, so I think that's the biggest compliment somebody can do. And I think when our members come in, they see how above and beyond we've gone with everything they're gonna reach out to these people who have been pretty, you know, um, sedentary for the last two, two and a half months. And they're gonna tell them to get their butt on in here, you know, because yeah. they're 
you not only is it a great workout, uh, it's the best workout in my opinion, but they're also going to see, you know, how much we've done to make them feel safe. So I would honestly say a referral is probably yeah. the best way for us to, you know, know that we're doing our job and we're doing it well. Yeah, referrals are definitely a big part of our business as well. Um, what is one thing you wish everyone knew about Orange Theory Fitness? I love this question because it's what I stress to so many new people about that come in to take their first class. Orange Theory Fitness is for every fitness level. It can be for the young athlete, it can be for the elderly, um, the beginner, all the way to the advanced. Um, the youngest that somebody can take Orange Theory is 14 years old, but the oldest member I've seen in a class is 92 years old and they're moving. You know, they're, they may not be running on a treadmill, but they're moving, you know? Um, so I think that's the biggest thing because a lot of people get the, um, you know, misconception that, oh, you have to be, you know, in shape to join a gym. Yeah. And that's yeah. not the case because we have every type of person, every type of fitness level and our amazing coaches, they offer all modifications if you're not able to do a certain exercise. So not only is it meant for every single person, because you've got your own pace and your own speed, you're able to get options if there is something that you're not able to do. You know, awesome. so I think that's the main thing because a lot of people, they go into some gyms very afraid or maybe not knowing what to do. So really for here, you just show up, have somebody tell you what to do, and that's the best part about it. So the hardest part about here is just showing up and we take care of the rest, basically. Awesome. What's your favorite part of your day? I have two favorite parts of my day, if that's okay. Okay. Oh, I, <laughs> random, but my favorite part of my day is between 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. in the morning and 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. at night. Um, basically for the morning, that 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. is kind of like my woo-saw a little bit, and it's kind of my, what do I need to do today? How do I make it successful? It's also my coffee time. It's my just calming before the storm kind of thing, you know, yeah. going everywhere and uh, being available for every single, you know, person on my team at all three studios. Um, and then at nighttime, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m., I like it because it's just my wind down time. I reflect on my day a lot more. I focus a lot on what did I accomplish versus what I didn't. Um, I'm a firm believer in just practicing that daily, you know, to really boost yourself up a lot more and not beating yourself down. So I focus on that a little bit, you know, at nighttime before going to bed. And that really helps to set my mindset for the next day as well. That's great. Uh, what are you grateful for today? This might be the like kind of, um, you know, not, I, I'm just gonna say health. You know, okay. a lot of people right now, I think are more grateful for health than anything because I'm very fortunate, um, very, very fortunate that I did not suffer from anything over these last few months, uh, nor did I have anyone in my immediate family or friends or anything like that suffer from anything as well. Um, you know, so I'm very, very grateful for my health and, you know, Orange Theory is a big part of that and it pra helps me practice discipline. It really keeps my body healthy um, on the outside and on the inside. Um, I focus a lot on immune systems and I know practicing exercise, exercise regularly really helps to boost your immune system. So really health <laughs> in just all forms. I'm going to say mental health, physical health. Um, I'm a big believer in both of those go hand in hand. So definitely in both of those because I practice them so much on a daily basis. Awesome. Uh, what, it, it's been tough times lately, especially for some of our smaller businesses and local businesses. Um, what recommendations would you make to businesses at this time? So over the last few months, what has worked well for us, and now I can't speak for everybody, but what has worked well for us is staying involved and staying engaged with your clients or your members. Um, I have a very big we mentality versus a me mentality. And I'm always wanting to make sure everybody is doing okay. So for the last few months, you know, we have our members contact information. So we were reaching out to them when I say daily, daily for a few months to help make sure that they were held accountable to make sure we were giving them different challenges, you know, to keep them consistent. Um, I'm sure you know how hard it is once you fall off your routine. It's so hard to get back. sometimes. So that was the biggest thing that we did. Um, reassured them like, hey guys, we're coming back soon. 
we didn't really instill any type of negativity um, at all over the last two and a half months. If anything, it was just positivity every day, um, checking in on them and really just being their friend more than anything, um, just because we wanted them to know that we literally are here for them, whether they need a daily positive text every day to just kind of start their mood. Whether it was just a phone call, we did a lot of Zoom happy hours <laughs> with our studios. You know, if we can't be together in person, we're gonna be together through technology. Um, so I think a lot of businesses can do that um, as long as there's a way to really reach out to their, their clients or their members. Social media is a big thing nowadays. And I yeah. think that was what we all learned the most about within the last two months. You can reach anyone and everyone at any time. Yeah. So we really paid a lot of attention to that. And it really, I think in my opinion, really is going to help us with our return and our retention when we come back. Um, I have a feeling if we didn't focus a lot on that over these last two months, uh, we wouldn't be very, you know, very lucky to have the type of return that we're expected to here in just about a week and a half. Okay, good. Yeah, so um, we spent a lot of time doing what we called care calls. Uh, it was basically like the Adele song, hello, how are you, is what we said. And we called everyone in our database. We text everyone in our database every couple of days to make sure that everyone was doing okay. Exactly. And what I learned too is that sometimes when you check in on others and you make them feel good, it makes you feel good as well. So mm -hmm. that's what we focused on a lot. Um, again, we all, I can speak for our three studios, we have a we mentality. So we're more focused on everybody else right now and make sure that they're okay and yeah. to make sure that they're ready to come back to us, you know, when we open. That's great. Um, how can consumers reach you or Orange Theory Fitnesses in their neighborhoods? I know you guys have three locations, downtown Sarasota, South Sarasota, and Lakewood Ranch, right? Yes, ma'am. So the easiest way, we have a lot of different platforms. We are in the studios every day. Our teams are back with us, um, you know, so we're in the studio every day during our prime hours, just really here to attend to members' needs, concerns, questions, whatever it may be. Um, so anybody can call, walk in if they wish to. We'll be more than glad, whether you're a returning member or a brand new person, if you have any questions, you can come in or call. Um, social media is a big thing that people can reach out to us with, whether, you know, whether it's messaging, um, inquiring about whatever it may be. Um, and also majority of everybody has our studio manager emails, which they have been constantly, um, you know, sending us questions or concerns or just like a, hey, I'm so ready to come back. Please let me know when you open. Yeah. Type thing. So I would say every type of platform we are available we're ready to rock and roll here in just like a week and a half. And um, we're in the studios every day trying to make sure that, you know, we are ready for everyone to um, come back full speed. Great. Well, I'm sure everyone's super excited for you guys to open on the first. Congratulations on coming back. <laughs> and thank you so much for joining me today. You're welcome. Thank you so much for having me on. Um, you know, and it's just one of those that we're, we're so grateful for not only just Orange Theory uh, members, but just for everybody staying active, you know, during this whole time as well. It's been really cool to see how creative people can be um, when you're forced to be. So it's been pretty cool to see over the last few months. Yeah, it has been really cool. We've done a lot of new things with social media, this being one of them. Yeah. And it's been great. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us today on business spotlight with orange theory fitness and nicole i hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you next week